Hello everyone. Dr. Zaya Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.42 of mechanical vibration, 6th edition by S.S. Rao. And the problem is same in 5th edition of the book. There's a problem 1.42 in the book. So, the statement is a tapered solid steel propeller shaft is shown in figure 1.91 determine torsional spring constant of the shaft so this is a taper shaft and the length of the taper shaft is 1 meter modulus of rigidity is 80 gigapascal and at one end its diameter is 0.2 and the other end its diameter is 0.1 and subjected to a twisting moment t so torsional spring constant of shafts that can be calculate uh, expression can be derived using torsion equation and Hooke's law in uh, t, as t is equal to kt theta and torsion equation t over j is equal to g theta over l and then torsion equation can be rearranged that t over theta is equal to g j over l and then T over theta is actually kt is equal to gj over l and polar moment of inertia for shafts and if the shafts are uniform so then it is pi by 32 d raised by 4 and that is expression kt for shaft with uniform diameter but in this case the shaft is not uniform and as the shaft is not uniform so this formula kt pi g over 32 l into d that cannot be used directly here so for this case the horizontal axis or length is assumed in x direction so a strip is taken with length of dx now for this specific case the diameter that depict depends uh, that is a function of x and it can be diameter can be written as a function of x by using the fact the diameter changes linearly from 0 0.2 at x is equal to 0 to 0 0.1 at x equal to 1. So diameter as a function of x can be expressed in terms of x as d maximum minus inside the bracket d maximum minus d minimum over l into x. So simply when you are going to substitute there x is equal to 0 so when x we are going to substitute here x is equal to 0 so dx that will become d maximum so that will become d maximum and when you are going to substitute there x is equal to l so then it will become d maximum minus d maximum minus d minimum so d maximum is going to cancel with d maximum so only left with d minimum so when x is equal to l so then dx will be equal to d minimum so that is expression uh, of diameter written in terms of x so by substituting the values of d maximum and d minimum so dx can be written as 0.2 minus 0.1 into x so once again once you have derived that expression so when you are going to substitute here x equal to 0 so dx is equal to 0.2 which is equal to the maximum value of diameter and when you're going to substitute here x equal to 1 so it is 0.2 minus 1 so that is equal to the minimum value of the diameter so the expression for dx is now correct and valid so now once we have that dx so then we can either substitute it here in this expression but integration in that case will become difficult so then we have to use a different approach here so by considering l is equal to dx so then the expression this torsion equation can be written as theta is equal to t l over j g g j and then j is pi by 32 into d x raised power 4 and length is d x so then the expression which we'll use here 32 t pi g 1 over d x raised power 4 into d x so now to find out this is a theta at this small section which we have segment which we have considered here but if you have to find out theta over the entire length so then we have to integrate this expression of theta over total length so now this theta can be integrated from 0 to total length l 
and then dx expression which we have already there 0.2 minus 0.1 into x raised power 4 so that can be substituted so l is equal to 1 so then further it can be integrated over 0 to 1 because in this integration expression that 32 t pi and g are constant so they can be taken out and from 0 to 1 and then by taking denominator into the numerator by changing the power to minus 4 so then this expression can be integrated so if you have kcufx 991 ex so there is a function for doing integration so you can integrate it by just writing uh, pressing that button and then x here so with alpha you can use that here and if you have that fx 991 es plus so then in this case that is integration sign so you can integrate it and then the x value you x you can input in the expression with alpha x. so now integration in the calculator that is integration from 0 to 1.2 minus 0.1 x raised power minus 4 dx so when you press equal button so it will become uh, you will get 8750 over 3 so that is integration of this whole expression using calculator now kt is equal to t over theta so this expression now can be re rearranged to get t over theta to get spring stiffness so that is the rearrangement so t theta is equal to pi by pi g over 32 into 3 into 8750 so then t over theta is kt which is torsional spring stiffness of tapered shaft so by substituting the value of g which is given as 80 into 10 to raise power 9 pascal so the value of kt comes as 2.69 into 10 to raise power 6 newton meter per radian so that is equivalent to original spring constant of tapered shaft i hope you find this explanation helpful so thank you very much for watching